Hello calculus students. In this problem we're going to determine the um, properties of f of x <clears throat> given the graph of f prime of x. So what you see here, this red graph or plot, is really a plot of f prime of x. It's the derivative. All right, and remember we can determine a lot of properties of f of x um, if we just uh, know what's happening with f prime of x in terms of um, the sign sign um, of f prime of x if it's positive or negative All right, so let's just remind ourselves of what those properties are uh, first off um, if f prime is zero then we get what are called critical points of f um, sometimes those are called stationary points and those are potentials for maximums or minimums but they don't necessarily have to be maximums or minimums they could be something called saddle points as well um, the two uh, salient fe features that we're going to be looking for here are um, if f prime is greater than zero, then f is increasing, and if f prime is less than zero, then f is decreasing. Now remember, f prime gives us the slope of the tangent line. So if the slope of the tangent line is positive, that means it's going uphill, so to speak. So that means that f is increasing, and if f prime is less than zero, then the slope is less than zero, and that means that we're going downhill, so f is decreasing. All right, so let's uh, mark that up on our plot here. So here um, f primed is greater than zero. Now this is the whole um, part of f primed here that's greater than zero. Common misconception is to think that oh well f is increasing here and f is decreasing here but no that's not correct. This is where f primed is greater than zero. We don't necessarily know um, uh, firsthand what's happening to f in this region until we analyze what's happening to derivative. The derivative is greater than zero that means that f is increasing here. <clears throat> and then um, we hit a critical point here. This is where f prime is zero and then f prime is below the um, x-axis here so f prime is less than zero. That means f is increasing to the left of this critical point and f is decreasing to the right of this critical point. So let's uh, make a little sign chart for ourselves and on the top part we'll denote what's happening with f primed as we go from 0, 1, 2, 3 so from 0 to 3 and then from 3 all the way to 8 which is our final point here okay so from 0 to 3 f primed is greater than 0 it's positive and from 3 to 8 from 3 to 8 f primed is negative so that means that f as I've denoted down here is increasing from 0 to 3 and from 3 to 8 f is decreasing. I've just summarized what we said here geometrically in this sign chart I uh, just essentially just repeated this information here. Now you can just see what the shape of f is going to look like. That means from 0 to 3 it's going to be going up and these are these denote like the tangent lines right they're positive so they're increase so that means f is increasing so you're going uphill then you get to 3 you hit a maximum a relative maximum and then the tangent line starts sloping downward because the tangent lines are given by f prime of x and that means that the, uh, the tangent lines are the signs of the tangent lines are negative and so they it means that f is decreasing and as I said that means we have a relative max and uh, I'll just summarize um, an interval notation f is increasing from 0 to 3 and f is decreasing from 3 to 8 alright good luck